This is the Nintendo Wii first generation. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to homebrew it without an SD card or any other tools for that matter. Well, I dug out my old Wii after over a decade of using it. And I remember that it was possible to homebrew the Wii and get all my favorite games and emulators on it. But most of the guides I saw online required an SD card or a flash drive and Windows. And I use a Mac, so none of these methods were viable for me. But I found two methods that work without any of those things and I'm going to be showing them to you today. The only thing that you may need is a flash drive after you've already homebrewed your Wii so that you can load larger applications onto the Wii. And I'm just going to be showing you the flash drive here. And let's get on to the first method. So the first method is the flash hacks method. And for this method, you're going to need the internet channel. Now this channel is not available anymore, but there is a decent chance that you still have this on your old Wii. Now you're going to need an active internet connection that is working. So let's go into our settings and then go into internet and verify that we have a working internet connection. Going to connection settings and we see that we have a working wireless connection on this Wii. Now we're just going to go all the way back out onto the main menu. And let's go back one more time and then onto the internet channel. Now the internet channel was discontinued somewhere around 2018, I believe, although I may be wrong. Now let's start the internet channel. All right, so now we're going to go into the address bar here and we're going to enter flashhacks.com. Now it might be typing a little bit slowly because I'm using the Wiimote. All right, press OK. And now we're going to select the region of our Wii. If you have a European or Japanese Wii, you would click on that. I have a US Wii, so I'll click on the first option. And now it'll say, please bookmark this page now. And that simply means that you have to favorite the page. Now we'll click on add favorite. And then we'll click on the link. Now this will load to 100% and if it's successful, you'll get the hack me screen like this. And if it doesn't work, simply restart your Wii and do the process again. It may take several tries simply because this program is a little bit buggy. But overall, I found this one of the best methods to homebrew your Wii. And then from here, you'll just simply install it and it should be done. All right, now we're on to the second method, and this method doesn't require the internet channel at all. So we'll just go into our Wii options, and then into Wii settings. And then now we'll be navigating into the internet. Go into connection settings, and now we'll go into the wireless connection that we have, and then we'll go into change settings. And now we'll click one, two, three and we see auto obtain dns now we're going to change this to no and we're going to enter our custom dns settings now it'll initially have these zeros and simply enter the address that you see on the screen here 18.188.135.9 press ok and you can just leave the secondary dns as it is press confirm press save and now there's going to be an internet connection test. And what this is doing is simply connecting to a custom DNS server that will help us load the homebrew application. At least that's what I believe, but it does work that way. And we'll see if the connection works. All right, it worked. And B, it's very important to select no here, all right? And now we're gonna go out all the way back and then we're gonna go into internet again and then into user agreements. Here, you're gonna select yes. All right, and now you'll see this image with a pony. We're going to accept this after, um, yeah, so let's just accept it. And now it'll run all this code. And basically, this is just homebrewing your Wii, and we're going to see the Hack Me screen. 
All right, and it's going to tell us that we need to press 1 to continue, so press that on your Wiimote to continue. And from here, it's pretty self explanatory. We're just going to press install the homebrew channel. Yes, continue. And this is basically just going to install the homebrew channel on your Wii. And it successfully did. And now all we need to do is simply exit the HackMe installer. And that's it. So now you should have the homebrew channel on your Wii, regardless of what method you use to get it. And now we're going to start the homebrew channel. And something you will immediately realize is that it's completely empty. There's no homebrew browser and there's no way for you to download applications. And this is where the USB drive simply must come in. Um, even though we can install the homebrew without using any external media, in order to get things that we can use to download games and applications, we need a flash drive. And in this case, I will be using the drive that I was showing you at the very start of the video. And so here I have the drive. It's a FAT32 format, and we're going to need a folder called apps. And in this folder, you're simply going to put all of the applications that you want. You can find them online, and that's it. So you can see me here playing a Game Boy emulator and uh, I'm playing Pokemon Sapphire, and it's working great on this super old 20 year old um, TV. So that's it. All right, guys, if this video was helpful, like the video, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel for more.